Do not use a microscope to look at your coins until you watch this video. It's very important. Before I get started on the microscopes, I want to share something with everybody. Um, this is my website for those of you who don't know. And I do have a lot of inventory graded coins. Um, there's, this is some a half cents that I bought at the High State Coin Show. Still have some of those left. We've got the mystery boxes. And guys, everybody's raving over these mystery boxes. I mean, I'm kind of a picky guy, so maybe I'm putting coins in there. I'm thinking it's not that great, and they're really good coins. So, you know, like I said, so being a picky person, that also takes me down to our 90% rolls. We just bought a bunch of Mercury Dimes, and I've tried to lower prices on everything that I could lower prices on. But these rolls don't have slicks or damaged coins. We don't, that's not how we do our rolls. We actually go through our coins before we ever put them up. And you're not going to get damaged in calls. And a lot of these are really nice Mercury Dimes. And that goes for the worst in quarters. That goes for our Franklin halves that we still have up. You know, you're not going to get uh, slicks. It's, it, we don't do it like that. And also, we still have uh, Peace Dollars. A lot of graded coins. You know, and if, if you see make an offer, make me a deal. You know, I'll work with you if I can, uh, the best I can. You know, maybe if it's just free shipping or something. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff you have some pretty tight margins on. But anyways, if you get a chance, check out PortsmouthCoinShop.com and uh, see what I've got. I do have more coming up. So anyways, we're going to talk about coin microscopes. First off, I want to talk about what we call loops or actual jeweler's loops, uh, triplet uh, lenses, which is how they're made. You know, I have this one here. I'm not really sure. I think I bought it maybe. I might have acquired it. It's a Harris uh, company, and it's a 16X. And then I have the 10X, which is on our website, and I buy these. I buy them by the thousands, okay, or a thousand in a box, whatever. And I have them ordered special made, and they're triplet loops. And they're really nice. They're kind of small for me. I like a larger something to hold on to myself. But they look, you know, you can see coins really good with this 10X. Uh, 16X, I just like 16. I don't know why. It's just me. It's a little larger of a lens. It's, it's a personal preference. But... You shouldn't be looking at coins through a microscope unless you understand the minting process or you're not looking for things that's nuts and crazy like UFOs and strange things like that. And I mean UFOs in, not in as an insult, but you can go over to Wexler's Double Die or check out my video on UFOs. It's just unidentified something on a coin, okay? Just like an anomaly. Doesn't add value to it, doesn't mean it's anything special. Just something you can't quite understand yet or at least quite can't explain what happened. Uh, let's put it that way. So I want to show you something. I want to, I had a video, let's see, I had a comment on a video and I want to share it with you and, and talk about it. Okay. This was a comment on my channel and it says this, my first day with a microscope, I swear I see a coin made by striking down on little different size safety pins. How small can you make a safety pin? Okay, first off, first day on a microscope. This is a perfect example here. That's why I did this video. I told him, says, you're too close. You must understand the minting process before using a microscope. So he says, yes, I'm looking very close. He says, if you look close, you will see all the safety pins that make up the material for the coin. Tops of them, bottoms of them, and sometimes see the whole safety pin. It's not a D over a D. It's a D over top of a safety pin. Start by looking close at Wheaties. A blemish on newer coins starts when copper coating is worn and bump is the head of a safety pin coming through. And you will see the coin is struck many times. That's how you get a double dies. Ho, 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 ho. No, it's not. No. Uh, that's a double struck coin. Or a coin that is uh, mechanically double, like strike doubling. Double dies are coins that are struck by a die that's already double. That die was double before the coin ever or the planchet ever got in between the dies has nothing to do with it and also as far as blemishes are concerned blemishes can be anything it's not the head of a pen it's not the wearing down of something and then on the head of a pen it's nothing to do with that there's no pins or safety pins on our coins then it says look close at liberty above and below the hash marks left every time a coin is struck hash marks are from the letters and that's just that doesn't mean anything either so anyways i i tried to respond the best i could as patient as i could um with the this person here Okay, now I want to come over here to my coin help community and I want to show you a picture of a coin that was the closest I could come to what looked like safety pin heads. Okay, and or at least you know push pin heads. Here 
inside the B and then here and here and you really can't see it it's the sideways but I mean hopefully you can see it in the video here but these aren't safety pin heads they are plating blisters sometimes you'll have a die chip or whatever inside a, a B or in between here which is makes it a buy error all of these are plating issues okay split plating is caused from die deterioration among other things and I showed this because I did a video on plating blisters and people you really need to watch this video. It's called, um, is it rare? Do you have a speared Lincoln penny? Which I'm showing you, th they can come in all different shapes and sizes. So watch this video here. I mean, I'll put a link in the description for this video and you can watch about plating blisters. Also, I did a video on the minting process. I'm, I'm serious when I tell you, if you don't understand the minting process and what can and can't happen, and you start looking at a coin under microscope or coins under microscopes, you are literally going to see things that's going to just blow your mind. It's going to throw you off completely. It's going to stop you from learning because you're going to think you're seeing new stuff. And then you're going to get into a forum or a Facebook group and someone's going to tell you it's not. And, and you're going to think, no, I see it. And the next thing you know, you're just, you're arguing. It just becomes no fun. It's not any, not any fun anymore when you start doing that. You've got to understand the minting process. And then I have videos on double dies. You know, this is a very extensive and exhaustive video on double dies, uh, what you need to know. And then I also did a video here on double die or mechanical doubling. And you really need to watch these videos. It's very important. I, I draw it out for you. I mean, I literally draw in these videos, or at least this one here especially, and, and show you how uh, double dies occur, what they're supposed to look like. Uh, I mean, I don't know how... Uh, a better way of doing it for anybody. I, I don't know. But I just wanted to share that with everyone uh, that may be confused about their coins. They're not, uh, I think really, uh, the Mint uses what we call um, stock. And it's stock alloy. It's rolled into a big old thin, it's, it's coil stock, but they roll it into thin, uh, basically a big old sheet. And that sheet is the same thickness as a coin. And then they are, the planchets are punched out. And then those planchets go through the process of getting the rims. You know, I'm not going to get into that. I've got that information in a video. But what I want to tell you is that that's just an alloy. There are strike throughs. Okay. And if you want to know what they look like, go to air-reference.com. Go to Heritage Sold Auctions. And you can see what those strike throughs look like. Okay. It's not going to be all over the coin. It's not going to be raised areas on the coin and stuff like that. So anyways, thanks for watching my latest video. Please share this video and have a great day.